What's good, Luton Fitters? How's it going? So, today we're going to be talking about what to eat post workout. Now, for my entire high school years, I kind of had this kind of um, conception, this myth, this kind of bro split myth, or not like bro scientist myth, that uh, in order to build muscle, you have to kind of go. Hold on, the camera seems weird. You had to go, like after the workout, I'd have to sprint to my locker, get my uh, protein shake or mass gainer, and chug that like fully, or else all my gains are just gone. And I'm here to tell you that it's completely wrong. Now why? Because I've stu studied dietology for a while, and um, I found out that everything that bro science taught you about nutrition is completely wrong. And what you should do instead is, let's say, um, before I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit of a story about what happened, is uh, when I started working at a gym, and um, I got to know all these personal trainers and of course because I love fitness so much I started asking them so many questions at that time I was quite skinny I was a bit um, I was uh, about when I just came in I was about 123 pounds I was super skinny and um, I was just learning because I really loved working out I was learning what can I do to actually like uh, get bigger and get stronger and to be honest every single personal trainer told me something different some of them may have been uh, unnatural so it was kind of hard to find a person who I could actually trust in uh, terms of giving me advice and I ended up learning a lot by myself and even though they helped me a bit the thing is even if a uh, let's say a bodybuilder is on steroids his nutrition advice is still valid because steroids don't really um, they don't they can't replace nutrition you know like if your nutrition is bad on steroids you'll still not make the gains you're trying to make so what I've learn from the personal trainers and what I've kind of confirmed myself after doing my research after learning is uh, what I noticed the personal trainers were doing is right after the workout they would go grab a Mars bar or a Snickers bar or an apple and eat it right away and that really got me curious why not why aren't they going to uh, drink their protein shakes, why aren't they going to, uh, you know, to do the typical bro, bro science stuff that I've been taught to do. And um, I later realized, and I asked them questions about it, and what I've learned from it, that eating simple carbs, better from fruit than from a Mars bar and the, and the sneakers bars for sure, is uh, going to help after a um, heavy lifting session is gonna help the muscle recover faster it's uh, kind of um, increases the glycogen levels it uh, you know it's not when you need to take protein it's not that you know that 30 uh, minute window that you've been taught like you know if you don't take protein in the next 30 minutes you're gonna die the whole world's gonna, you know, just that's it. It's the end of the world. No, and it's actually that uh, one hour window after your workout is not a necessary window for taking protein. Taking protein is something you can do almost, or like not even almost, about seven hour. You have a seven hour window of taking enough protein. And uh, the first hour after your workout, 
the simple carbs are the ones that are actually like the ones that matter when you uh, uh, why am I <laughs> anyways so uh, yeah so that first hour after the workout most important thing you should do drink a lot of water and take a uh, dose of simple carbs preferably from fruit watermelon is a great choice uh, you could honestly take like an apple and, or um, an orange anything and um, the, like if you notice like sport like the guys who do sports like the uh, athletes they usually after the work after the sprints and everything they drink something like uh, Gatorade and stuff like that and that's not a bad choice if you're not very health conscious you don't care about your health you can like even eat like uh, you can drink Gatorade you can eat a bagel you can uh, do whatever I um, for example when I was working at the gym I um, kind of uh, I started asking the personal trainers for advice and throughout six months I think I've told you guys this in the past vlogs but I'll repeat it again because uh, that was probably my biggest transformation and throughout those six months of working at the gym I've gained I believe how, mu how much was it it was about 25 pounds a bit of it some of it was fat not a big part I went from about six seven I was super skinny I went from about six seven percent body fat to uh, 11 12 percent body fat I was still pretty lean though like I could see my uh, muscle definition and everything but um, I've gained a lot of muscle and except that like I followed their nutrition advice I increased my fat level intake which I like the results were pretty big from just increasing like eating a lot of butter eating a lot of eggs and bacon and uh, you know that uh, I have seen a lot of improvement at the same time I got really sick though from that uh, the uh, diet because I was also eating uh, hamburgers McDonald's and stuff like that after post-workout and um, it has its been pros and cons hamburgers they uh, the buns have uh, the carbs the uh, the patty of course the uh, the patty has uh, the protein but uh, at the same time it's extremely unhealthy so uh, in terms of bodybuilding it has a uh, pro in nutrition in terms of health it's really bad for you so really find like instead of going for the uh, um, the hamburger go for the chicken and rice and salad because you're still getting the carbs from the rice the simple carbs you're getting the protein from the chicken and <coughs> if you're vegan you can do beans or uh, lentils and stuff like that still a good source of protein so you're still getting that uh, protein from uh, the uh, chicken or the beans and lentils. You're getting the simple carbs plus extra protein from the rice. And you're getting some complex carbs from the uh, vegetables. So the uh, diet is extremely, extremely important in terms of uh, both health and muscle growth. So remember that uh, the first hour when you... Uh, like when you finish your workout simple carbs are the most Im your most important uh, uh, your objective so for example if you're young and you're not very health like you don't care about your health that much you're still you got like that decent immune system your diet is not really bad and you can still allow yourself some uh, junk what you could do is uh, I'll give you a few choices of foods you can uh, eat right away. You can uh, chug a bottle of uh, Powerade, Gatorade, stuff like that, which is it's uh, the good. It's good on uh, terms of uh, simple carbs because it has a lot of sugar. You can eat a Mars, Mars bar. That's those are choices that uh, you shouldn't use often. 
but if you don't really have like if you forgot let's say to bring your rice or you don't want to bring rice uh, or you don't have like healthy food choices and you need that quick uh, spike in the insulin to uh, recover like to have your muscles recover faster for your next workouts you can use those foods to uh, help you recover in that first hour before let's say you go head home or you go to a restaurant and buy yourself some food that is uh, proteins like high in proteins and stuff like that so as I was saying you can either eat a Mars bar a Gatorade or uh, a little a better alternative is just to bring like toast or something bring a piece of bread and uh, that's probably a better choice because it's still that uh, simple carbs but it's not as unhealthy as eating uh, a Mars bar or uh, drinking a um, drinking what do I say a Gatorade or anything like that you know those really bad sugars but uh, when you're uh, when you're like let's say when you're 16 17 and you're an ectomorph and you're not gaining weight the sugar may affect your health but it won't affect your weight if you know what I'm saying so you're not gonna be gaining weight but uh, it's, it may hit your immune system a, a little bit at a time so I really suggest you uh, go for healthier alternatives like bread like rice like uh, pasta stuff like that instead of going for uh, you know the uh, Gatorade and uh, the Mars bars the uh, you know the sweet sweets so okay guys that is pretty much it for the vlog or yeah I guess I'll call it a vlog it's a bit of an instructional video let me know how you like this setting in the comment section below like subscribe hit that notification bell peace